We define the model we want to build using a natural language statement of the expected behavior and the desired input-output schemas. Then, we define how the model should be built, which LLMs should power the agents, how many solutions to try, and whether to output the chain of thought. Finally, we'll save the model and print its description to the terminal. All right, so let's run the script. Plexi has started working on the solution. The agents are preparing the dataset, deciding what metrics to optimize for, planning possible solutions to the task, and writing code for the model training experiments. The first model training run has completed, so we can see it logged to MLflow. Each run is logged with basic metrics, in this case the model's accuracy on the validation set. Now let's fast forward and let Plexi run more experiments. You can see more runs being logged to MLflow on the left-hand side of the screen. Let's skip ahead by about 10 minutes. You can see that Plexi has run several experiments, some successful and some unsuccessful. In the end, the agents select the best performing model, generate the inference code, and construct a bundle containing the model. Let's inspect the contents of the saved package. First, we have the model binaries. We also have the training code that was used to train the model, which you can see here, as well as the inference code for the ready model, which you can see here. Finally, the bundle also contains various metadata about the model, such as LLM-generated analysis of the model architecture, performance, and suitability to the task. Now, let's use the saved model bundle to get predictions from the model. In this script, we load some test data, load the model from the saved bundle, and get a prediction using a sample input. So let's run it and see what happens. And there we go. The model produced a prediction that matches the output schema we had defined.